Hello team and welcome to today's video where I'll be sharing with you how to set up an interactive dashboard in Excel. On my candy sales dashboard, I've included three charts. One chart shows the amount of each candy sold and also breaks it down by location. I can see overall candy sold in each location. And I also have a chart showing revenue over time. And as you can see from my buttons here on the left, if I were to click one of the candy types, you'll see each of my charts update to reflect that data. I can hold down the control key to click an additional candy type to see that data compared. And I can also go to the date sold filter here at the bottom and click a certain quarter to see that information broken down. Let's jump in and see how this is created. On the data tab, I have all the data that's represented on the three different charts I shared a moment ago. Ensure your data is formatted as a table so that if you add additional information to the bottom of this data set, you can update it in the pivot table charts. To add one of the charts you saw on our interactive dashboard, go to the insert tab at the top and select pivot table. Now click OK. For this example, we'll recreate the stacked column chart to show the sum of each candy sold across all the locations. I'll click and drag the candy field into the rows box, place location sold in columns, and then place the number sold field within the values box. Now that we have our pivot table set up, back on the insert tab, select the pivot chart option. Here we'll click the stacked column chart and then click OK. To organize this chart to show from largest to smallest, click within the grand total column. Go to the data tab at the top and select Z to A. With your chart selected, you can go to the design tab at the top and change the colors as desired. To match the previous chart, I'll choose this range of blues we see here. And then I also want to remove these gray buttons that you see around the chart. In order to do that, you can right click any one of the buttons and select hide all field buttons on chart. Now copy the chart using control C, or you can also right click and copy, head to the interactive chart tab where our sales dashboard is located and paste it in. You can see my other two previous charts are already located in here and you can add as many charts as you'd like to display that are important to your audience. In order to make sure your charts are aligned correctly, you can click two charts that you'd like to make sure are aligned, go to the shape format tab at the top and use this align option. For here, I'll select align top. And now both my charts are aligned at the very top correctly. By simply clicking one of the charts, you can also go to the format tab and check the height and width of the chart and ensure those are aligned. To add the interactive slicer buttons for each of our charts, go back to the insert tab with one of your charts selected and click this slicer option. To stick with the example from before, I'll use candy type and click OK. Now you can move these slicer buttons off to the right and change the sizing so that it fits appropriately. With your slicer button selected, you can also go to the slicer tab at the top and change the color in slicer styles. For this example, I'll choose this light blue color. Then I will also reduce the height of each slicer button a little bit so that I can fit a timeline slicer below. To insert the timeline filter, again, click one of your charts, go to the insert tab and select timeline. Choose the option for date sold or whatever date applies to the chart you're building and click OK. Now that our slicer buttons and filters have been added, you'll notice if I click one of the options, I'll click gummies in this case, only one of the charts is going to update. We need to link both of these slicer buttons to all of the charts. In order to do that, right click one of the slicer buttons and then select report connections. Check mark the box next to each one of your pivot table charts and then click OK. Ensure to take those same steps for the timeline filter. Now team, check it out. I can select any one of the candy option buttons and all three of my charts will update. If I select more than one candy option, I can compare results. Then I can drill down even further by clicking one of the timeline filter options below. As a final point, if you do add any additional data to your spreadsheet that all these charts are built off of, with one of these charts selected, go to the pivot chart analyze tab up here at the top and click refresh and your data will be updated. Team, I hope you enjoyed these tips today. Please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos and leave comments about additional tips you'd like to see covered.